Hello everyone, I'm here with, oh, he's one of the, what, she is stealing, uh, he's stealing so much attention um, with his uh, new single here is uh, You're Perfect based on his uh, real life heartbreak. We're going to talk about that later. But this song soared to 16 million views on YouTube, 33 million streams on Spotify. And now here is You're Perfect at number one on the Spotify Indonesia chart. With me right now, Jamie Miller. Hi, Jamie. Hi, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. And nice me meeting you too. How are you? Did you know that? What was I'm um, saying before that your song hit so much, um, you know, appreciation, especially here in Indonesia? Um, I, if I'm being honest, no, I can't believe <laughs> that it's doing so well. I'm like blown away by the support that um indonesia and everybody else has shown me is is crazy but i'm so thankful and i just want to say thank you so much like you guys are changing my life <laughs> that's yeah. a fantastic number you know because thank and you. Uh, since you make so much attention here in indonesia let's talk about this song here is your perfect is um that's from what I read, it separately captured the feeling of heartbreak based on your uh, personal uh, experience. What, you know, the inspiration, what's the song is, uh, you know, how, how, tell, tell me, tell us more about the song. Yeah, so I, I wrote this song about going through a heartbreak that I went through. And um, I just, I wrote, wrote it just because I wanted to be able to um, move past the situation. I never actually ever thought that the song would come out, um, but it has, and the support that it's gotten, I guess people are relating to the words that I wrote, and mm -hmm. it is mind-blowing, <laughs> to say the mm -hmm. least, but I'm so fortunate and very blessed. Yes, and is the, uh, there is a very nice message that you are trying to deliver to the audience. Uh, it's about uh, turning heartbreak into something beautiful. Yeah, right? I feel like, yeah, I think I wanted to write it in, in a way like every relationship has its trials and errors, but if mm -hmm. someone tries to change you or someone doesn't think you're good enough, then that's their version of what they want yeah like you don't have to be a part of that and I feel like sometimes pain going through something painful does turn into something beautiful because it's either a lesson mm -hmm. or it's a blessing yeah. and for me I wanted to just be able to to be able to say that you know yeah and do you have any advice since you have so many followers here uh, especially women do you have any advice to uh for those who struggling to do that yeah I think I'm no I'm no expert but I feel like <laughs> but they will love like, to hearing from you <laughs> um, I would say as cliche as it sounds it does get better and everything does happen for a reason mm -hmm. and if you are going through a breakup like just know that life has a funny way of giving you blessings in disguise and I feel like the right person will come along at the right time and sure. try and just you know everything just happens for a reason and if you want to listen to something Listen to Future Perfect. Oh. Probably get over it. <laughs> well, yeah, why not? <laughs> and about your upcoming uh, project, you are working uh, in your debut album. Tell us about that. Um, what can we expect from your album? It's going to be your debut, and since you make such a hit uh, number, what it's uh, the album's gonna like? So I think one thing that I wanted to um to capture in this album is like bit, just like really meaningful lyrics really meaningful lyrics powerful notes but also just to be myself you know mm -hmm. just to be able to have a piece of work that you can listen to from start to finish and it makes so much sense but also be like it's like a personal diary that I'm letting yeah. the world into and there's going to be features there's going to be so many exciting like projects people working on it with me amazing mm -hmm. singers Oh, um, so wow. I'm excited to show everybody the surprises. Yeah, it's oh, going to really? be fun. Wow. Yeah. You give us a <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> when, when, when is the album will be released? Is there any uh, fixed date already or are you just working on it? So we're still working on it. So fingers crossed that it will be sometime this year. 
but oh, if nice. not early 2022 but we have some surprises coming in store these next couple of months that i'm excited to show everybody so just I'm wait excited. and see can't wait for that since you are very you know you have so many uh, followers in instagram uh more than 400 uh thousand followers and also on tiktok you're very popular in tiktoks more than 700 and 78 something um do you play TikTok yourself, <laughs> jamie i mean how you manage those things i mean to create a song working on your on your album and manage your you know viewers in uh, social media how do you do that? how you do that so yeah i do manage my social media myself i have an amazing social media team too um, that that helps me coordinate things, um, but I, at the same time, like I yeah do it all myself with with my, with some help sometimes. But at the same time, I just love it. Like it's my it's not a job to me. It's like my passion and my I just I just love connecting with friends and yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and uh, about your song, about your work, uh, doing album and you know collaborating and everything in the future. Um, who has inspired you the most uh, in music and creating a song? Um, I would say Bruno Mars. Mm. Bruno Mars is my uh, absolute idol. And like people like Kelly Clarkson and these greats like, you know, Tori Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, yeah. Justin Bieber, Shawn yeah. Mendes. Like they're, they're incredible people. And yeah, I'm just excited to like be able to be inspired by people I look up to and some people that I can call friends too. Yeah, and uh, you were in uh, The Voice as well, right? The Voice UK as well, uh, coming in third place. Uh, how how mm. does that experience uh, change your perspective in music industry? Um, Shaping it, that. I mean, it, yeah, it gives you an insight for sure. It was like my first stepping stone into actual music. And for me, Here's Your Perfect was a... Um, just like I think I never would have written something like Here's Your Perfect if it wasn't for the voice. Like the voice gave me gave me a stepping stone to be able to sign a record deal. Mm. It gave me a stepping stone to be able to have the life that I live today. So um, I would say it's, it's, it was a crazy journey, but one that I'll never forget and one that I'll always be thankful for. Yeah, yeah. And um, we're living in a very challenging situation now during the pandemic, um, especially here in Indonesia. Uh, entertainment industry hits so hard, uh, especially in the live performances. How um, do you see it? I mean, uh, to create a live showcase is really important, you know, for the musician to meeting their fans um, directly and show uh, showcasing uh, the music and everything. But we, with a lot of restriction, how do you you manage uh to do so i mean to make well yes you you are using uh, media social but you know there is something different right to see it uh to see them uh directly yeah it's, it's it's difficult not to be able to be in front of an audience and meet the people that are supporting you but obviously mm -hmm. with the challenging time there is there is ways to go about it like doing live virtual concerts that fans can watch you and interact with you through a exactly. screen i feel like it's important to be engaged and Obviously, that sure. we're all we're going through a, like you said, we're going through a very difficult time right now with the pandemic, and mm -hmm. I feel like the one thing that people have to rely on is social media. So exactly, do you have any? You know, do you have any? Uh, can you imagine when you are when this pandemic is over, uh, you are creating a showcase to your fans? You know, do you have any ideas what will be uh, like in your showcase? <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because we're just talking about touring now. So when Asia is open and ready to go, I'm gonna be coming over and meeting everybody. And we, we, we're doing the, the we're doing the visuals for the show. We're doing the visuals for the shows, and it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited to get on the road and meet everybody. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And Jamie, you are originally from Wales, but you are now and you moved to LA now in the US. Um, yeah. What's the most significant difference that you feel uh, you're living in LA compared to Wales from your home? Um, did you bump into any other, you know, uh, movie star or big artist that make you struck or something like that? Is there any? Tell mm -hmm. us about the transformation progress, probably uh, affecting to your uh, music or your song. 
yeah I feel like one of the major things between the US and the UK is like the weather Mm. (laughs) Um, I grew up in a I grew up in a very small hometown so from moving to LA where I go to the studio and see Bruno Mars as I'm walking into the studio I would never ever experience that in the UK you know it's just things like that that is so overwhelming and so mind-boggling I'm like this is my life what the (laughs) freak but yeah it's 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 really cool yeah I um I don't know how it happened but it happened so so since you've become very popular now how do you see yourself as a person (laughs) is there any different or I don't know because you know yeah yeah I I don't see myself as any different like I'm still the same Jamie that I was before he is a perfect but I think one thing that I do is a little bit different is like when I go out in the street now and people ask me for a photo I'm like Uh. me (laughs) (laughs) um but it's 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 taking time to get used to but it's really fun it's like really fun to go out and hear your song on the radio it's really fun for me to go to the gym and hear my song playing on the gym radio I'm like what it's so crazy but it's it's incredible and I'm like I said I'm just so thankful yeah and you are uh, signing uh uh you're joined with the Atlantic Records now right Jamie Congratulations. yeah Atlantic uh, Records yes thank and, you and you are become a digital artist at the moment uh, together with your song here mm-hmm. is your perfect you share your talents uh, through social media platforms I uh, I saw your Instagram you, you making a challenge do a challenge with your followers and they're making a really really good duet video how do you protect yeah. yourself from a burnout if if that will be happen, you know, since yeah. you're very young, you still, you know, things like that. Yeah, I I have a really good team that really care about me and like mm-hmm. make make sure that my my best interests are, are put yeah. first. So even though I'm working a lot and like I'm really like enjoying it, my mm-hmm. team really pushed me to be like, okay, Jamie, today is your day off. And you can have a day off to relax. Like you don't have to go on your phone. But okay. at the same time, I've waited my whole life for this. Shafira so I'm excited about it so uh, I'm good I'm good to keep going for now (laughs) yeah so since this is the life that you are been dreaming on uh, probably you in the alternate life if you're not become a singer what would you be I get asked this question so many times um I would probably I would probably be I would probably be an architect I love art but I also love like design houses So I'd probably oh, be nice. something like that. Yeah. Okay. Something so, totally different from a singer, you know? So, yeah. But you love singing so much, Jamie. You love singing yeah, so I couldn't much. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't imagine doing It's anything clearly, else. clearly, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. You know what, being architect and you st- you can still singing, you know? Yeah, but I'd be like, I'm the first to <laughs> oh, I'm the first. <laughs> That is so safe. You can you can make a design and then you can still can create a song. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah. here's the last one. Do you have anything to say to your uh, viewers, especially here in Indonesia? You became yeah, the number say... one on the Spotify here in an Indonesian chart, Jamie. You're very popular. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah I just want to say, hey, Indonesian friends, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for loving me and loving the record as much as you do. Uh, you've changed my life in so many ways and I can't wait to come out to Indonesia soon and meet you guys. Yay! Love you. Next single will be coming up. Is there any next Coming single? soon. All right. Yeah, We're it's gonna coming wait soon. For that. Thank you so much, Jamie, for your time. And Thank take you. care. Just stay cool and stay healthy. And one thing for sure, we're waiting, looking forward for your debut album this year. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye.